Hey everybody, it's Akris19 here, back with another unboxing for us today. So this is going to be for a set of figures. I don't have the other two, unfortunately. Um, but this one is definitely going to hold me over until I can find the other two some other day. But this is going to be for the NECA TMNT3 um, Raphael and Donatello combo pack. kind of wish it was a Raph and Leo, because Leo is my favorite turtle. Raphael is my second favorite. Donatello is my third. And then Michelangelo is last. Um, but this movie, though, yeah, it's not the best... But it is still very detailed figures. And it looks like the one had the best paint job, articul well, not articulation, but at least the paint, best paint job. And these ones, and their eyes are looking perfectly straight on, too. That's pretty much why I was also kind of looking at the two that they had. They only had two sets of this, but no Leos. And um, so no Leo and the other one. And um, we'll do a comparison with the, or the other NECA Donatello and Raphael's that I do own. And I did say Raphael's plural. Because I have two NECA Raphael's that were part of a different set. Here we go with Raphael one on this side. We got the little accessories. We got his um, size. We got the time scepter. We got the masks from the movie. They also have the coats in the back that you can't see once I, until I get it out. Then we got um, Dontel's bow staff. This thing is pretty pretty big. It's going to be definitely hard to kind of get in view as much as possible anyway. This is where you got the logo right there for the movie. We got a picture of the figure. We got that picture of it from the cover. Or, well, not cover. Um, from the menus and from the advertisements of the movie. This is obviously made by NECA. Real toys. And these are the people who made the boxing, the box of it and also did the uh, figure itself. Or figures, plural. And then let's see the other side. Oh wait, that's the wrong side. There we go. There's Raph. And now we got the back. So yeah, these are some really cool looking figures. I've been wanting these for a little bit now. I didn't get Secret of the Use, sadly, because they did not come to the store I go to get my NECA figures. So I'm like, well, that kind of stinks. Mainly because uh, the Secret of the Use is my favorite Turtles movie of all of them. I've been wanting to get uh, more NECA figures recently, but I only am getting, to my knowledge, one more for right now, here soon, and then going to do a few more turtle videos once they come in stock, once I actually get them um, from the Big Bad Toy Store. That's where I usually get other figures from. Cool. Got that off without actually ruining, ruining much. Did think that actually work, but it peeled right off actually very easily. Um, almost got it. Almost. Ah, this is not one to come out at all. It's right. This one's being a lot more stubborn. And once I get, there we go. Get this off. I'm going to keep the box so that way in case I ever have to move, it's easier to kind of repackage them into their original packaging and trying to find something to make sure they don't get ruined in. And then here we go. Put it carefully and push this this way without creasing too hard. We got this is the first shot we see. And then before we look at the figures we get to look at this, which has a really nice detailed back background. And then we also get the bottom of it that has the flooring, the floor pattern from that background shot, which looks really cool. I'm gonna put that aside though. And then we got the turtles right there. We got Raphael and Donatello, though I kind of wish I had Leo and Raph, but still. We also got the, the cloaks that you could put onto them, onto the back. It's taped down. Yeah, they got these little cloaks or coats or what do you want to call them. They could put onto the figure. Or figures, plural. What am I saying? Figure. Figures, plural. It looks like there's two of them right here. One for each turtle. They have like this nice like a little bendy wire in these cloth coats. So that way they can put them on and take them off. The only thing is I don't know for sure if they have holsters for their weapons. But let's see. 
think I, they are strapped down, I think, maybe. Well, first, let's get their accessories out of the way. Here we go. Maybe. Kind of. There we go. We've got the Time Scepter. Looks like this one is the... Maybe I'm not sure if this is the original one that they find in the, in the, the future. Very detailed. And then we got Raphael's mask. And then we got Donatello's. They are color coded. So it's actually pretty easy to spot. We got the extra hands. We got these extra little hands. Very detailed. We got looks like two open palm hands. And they obviously have the articulation of like they could swivel and then they have a articulation of going forward and back. So that way if they're in the hand holes or, well, holes or whatever you call them. Let's see. And I think these ones are Raphael's hands for the size or pointing either or. And then let's see. We got Donatello's bow stuff, maybe. There we are. And from what it looks like, it's not much different from the other Donatello's bow staff. But I'll have to do a comparison here shortly once I can actually get the figures out. Let's see. We got Raphael's size, which thankfully mine look fine in terms of both paint job and um, no bent. Look, doesn't look like it's bent at all, which is good for both size. These are pretty darn good shape for his size. I wonder if I can actually get them into his gripping hand. Let's see if I can actually get that in there without, oh dear, ah, trap. I almost dropped it. Uh, well, I know I did drop it, but not all the way. The old thing is that I'm always afraid with, with these kind of figures to like put them into the spot where they're needing for breaking the weapons. So it's definitely going to be difficult. They are strapped down, so I'm going to have to pause this to get them out, and I'll be right back. All right, took me a minute to honestly get them out a little bit just because of the strap that was in. So the paint job on this, on these figures are outstanding. The articulation is a little bit more limited than the usual NECA figures, but mainly because of the suits that they're in. So they can only go about this far out. Now I'm going to use Raphael here for both turtles in terms of articulation. Um, they have a single jointed elbow, which a lot of people like single joints, but I kind of prefer the double joints normally, personally to me. The main movie NECA turtles actually do have double joints like I like, um, but these turtles do not. Uh, they have single jointed knees, so they can only bend 90 degrees if I can get it to bend now. There we go. You can only kick this far back. But they have like a like a late like a rubbery plastic here that can make it bend a bit and then these things can flap a bit you can see paint chipping a slight bit on the figure um then he can kick forward about this far and he can go to the side pretty good for these turtles and to my knowledge they have like the new hip joints and the leg joints in terms of how they articulate he has a like a this new joint in the hips to where they can kind of go like in a circular motion. They can also do a standard twist. They have, um, you know, articulation in the elbow too to twist it too. They have the wrist twist and, and swivel. But the, they also have the full 360 degree head turn if you need it to. Well, mostly. It's blocked by these bandanas. But you can take off these helmets. Um, they are a little loose when they're on all the way. So I think it might be just because, so that way you can probably put these on. Well, this one's Raph's right here. <laughs> but they do come off. And so you can do the, in terms of the legs, you can also twist these around. They also have ankle cuts, ah, drat, and pivots. You can also have it go kick out like this and kick in mine's already having some paint issues it looks like yeah it looks like there's some paint issuing right here where it's like right on the ankle right where that little peg is right there 
it's not like doing the best one in terms, in terms of paint it's like chipping away a bit but thankfully the peg itself is brown so it's not really a big mishap so i think they do need to kind of stop painting those joints and just kind of use a plastic that will match better um but as you can see it's now kind of got rid of the paint when i was trying to mess with the articulation and then oh yeah it's definitely chipping a bit right there quite a bit right there you can kind of see where it's supposed to be painted and that though you can see the joints that this one's supposed to be painted and that's what it looks like after the paint has worn off but sadly that's normal with NECA figures when it comes to joints sadly NECA figures are great and their paint job is amazing usually just the joints aren't the best um but when it comes to the the you know the detail is outstanding with these figures you can see the texture of the of the suit right here looks amazing this thing is really sharp so be careful on that his gripping hands though fit pretty darn well with the size um let's see if i can get one in his hand and maybe if i can get it in there i got dontella's bow stuff in his his hand easily unintentionally because i was trying to test something out i got his his side right there then let's see we put raf here and donatello though amazing and looks his bow staff is extremely loose into his hands it will not stay you kind of have to be careful with it because it will just keep on slipping and sliding at least mine does i'm tempted to just kind of swap i'm tempted to just swap hands of Raph and Leo's, I mean, Raph Leo's, Raph and Donatello's, so that way he can hold his bow staff because it, it holds better in Raphael's hands. So I'm probably going to have to swap them out so that way I can have him hold that. But he can hold this thing very easily, the Time Scepter. He can at least kind of, you know, look at it like he's intrigued, but I can't really get, exactly get his hands to his mouth. Eh. Yeah, I won't reach. Kind of wish I can get him to hold his bow staff easier, other than just it falling out straight out too. Let's see if I can kind of get his arm to go straightened out, so that way his hand can hold his bow staff a little better. It's extremely loose, so it has to be. It gets like really, really loose. It doesn't really want to hold it at all. Raphael's will, but the color looks great on the bandanas. The texture work for the the masks that the turtle, the guys in the suits wear look out, so outstanding. You can see the texture, the line work, the detail of the suits. They look so good. Um, so they do not have holsters for the weapons. So you're going to have to put their weapons somewhere else if you don't want to use them with the turtles. But I'm definitely going to do some small comparisons. So here we go with Raphael. His size is pretty much identical. I think the only difference, I think, being sort of my, that I can tell. Let's see. They look about the same size. Yeah, they look like the exact same size and same material. I think this one just has a slightly darker tone handle. Might might just because of the way mine looks. Um, but here we go with Raphael. You can tell the head mold looks completely different from the first film. Because these are definitely more wide-eyed and supposed to be looking like that because of how the movie was. These detail and these figures are amazing. Both the original movie and the third. I kind of wish I had the Sigurd the Used Turtles though. I'm eventually going to have to get Leo and uh, Michelangelo's. But that's that Raphael right there. Like I said, I have two NECA first movie turtles of Raphael because one with the trench coat came with the Casey Jones figure and I don't know I think both Raphael's look really good in terms of detail I think the this one has a better paint job though than the movie one especially at, at his beak you can see how at least detailed that these figures are I put him there and then compare him with this Raphael so for some reason, like this one's paint job on his side was not very good when I had seen it. Uh, but still a really phenomenal figure. Not sure which one I like more, but in terms of movies, this one. But in terms of figures, they're both amazing. And then I'm going to put this Raphael right here, maybe. 
Who Wants to Stand? And then we got the first movie, Donatello. Still have him. And the bow staff looks to be the same. I think the coloring is different. Yeah, the straps are a little different. I think they're the same length. Maybe. Yeah, they're the drat. Like I said, his bow staff just falls right out. It's the... It looks like the same length. In terms of paint job, they look almost identical. Um, I think my original one has a slightly darker um, straps and it looks a lot more, I think a little bit more realistic because I think this one has like a, a polish onto it. It's kind of glossy in comparison to the other one. Both look really cool, obviously in terms of detail uh, for the bow staff. And then we got the head molds. The color is more vibrant for the Turtles in Time, or well, third movie's design for the masks. In terms of design, which Dante looks more well, cool to me, would be this first movie, for sure. The design of this Donatello looks amazing. Um, the color of the mask is great, too. But this one has more of like a deeper purple. This one has a more of a brighter purple. So very good detail. Very amazing figure. And I definitely like these figures, though. Big fan of the new movies. Uh, not movies. The... Uh, <laughs> no, not Mutant Mayhem. That's a garbage movie. Um, but when it comes to these figures, these figures are a big win. The only issue I have with it is mainly some of the paint chipping. That looks like I have on some of mine. A little bit right here. And then on the ankles for sure. But I don't mind that too much because that's just not the most worrisome thing on these figures. The only thing I have issue with with mine i guess is the gripping hand for this donatello is too wide he will not hold his bow staff and it goes right through i can put it right here but it goes right and it fell off again but oh drat i forgot to put on the suits or not suits their coats let's see if i can put them on let's see if i can get that on him with the scepter on there we are There we go. There we are. Not sure how high this is supposed to go. But this looks really nice on the figures. Really, really nice. And these pop right off. Maybe. There we go. The helmets are latched onto the back from that pe peg right there. These helmets are really nice. Then you can actually have them fully you know, mo uh, not modeled, um, painted with extremely good detail. They have, you know, the good articulation from NECA. They can kind of go, they have like two ball pointed pegs, so you can put his head going out like that, straight up like that. He can look down pretty good. He can look up very well, and also depending on the angle too. Then let's see, we got his mask here. I'm not sure how that's supposed to go on though, exactly. More paint chipping off somehow, somewhere. I'm not sure really how to get this on. I'm kind of afraid to kind of break them. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to have it like, like so or how this works. I don't really want to take off the the bandana. But it goes like that on him. Let's see. I mean, if I at least have that sitting on his head right now until I can figure that out, it does look really cool with it on. Looks extremely detailed. Looks amazing. Probably not going to do that with Raphael's, but at least for now. But tell me comments below what you guys are going to think about this video. What do you think of these two new TMNT3 figures? I think they're amazing. They are great. They just need some minor fixing with the gripping hands for Donatello, at least specifically, because his hands will not hold his bow staff. So that kind of stinks. Going to figure something out. I might just swap their hands, at least this hand with this one, so that way I can at least have him holding his bow staff. But then I'm not sure if it'll hold his sigh when I can get to it. I'll have to check on that. But definitely going to have to put his thing on and then maybe his mask, I don't know. But tell me in the comments below what you guys and girls think about this video. What do you think of these figures? See you next time and God bless.